So let's talk about the illusion of time. While many experience time as linear, as you raise your consciousness and begin to access your multidimensional self, you begin to experience it as circular. Let me explain. Einstein said that the distinction between the past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. As you awaken to your true self, you begin to see through the illusion and see it from a higher perspective. Time could be seen as a record where all music exists now but is played linearly, one song at a time, as the record rotates in time. All the songs are spinning at the same time, but we only hear the song that the needle is on. At any time while the record rotates, you can switch the song by moving the needle. So if we look at this from a higher level, all the timelines exist now as time turns and we change realities like we change songs by focusing our conscious attention, like the needle, on another timeline that already exists. If we extrapolate that to our life, we experience birth and death as time moves in this reality, just like a song has a beginning and an end. The physical reality, or 3D reality, is stagnant until time is applied. Just like the record songs are frozen and can't be heard until it's spun. Time is considered the fourth dimension as it is the movement of the 3D reality. It is needed for us to experience change. Your consciousness experiences both 3D and 4D from a higher perspective. Your consciousness is actually in a dimension above time, 5D. Remember, 3D is physical space and 4D is time. Proof of this is empirical. Simply ask yourself, did your consciousness age or did it experience and observe age during your life? The spinning of the record has nothing to do with the needle. The needle plays the songs in the dimension outside of time. We generally experience time linearly. It seems as though it flows from the past to the present to the future in that order. This is valid from a 4D perspective, but there is a part of us that is beyond time and is experiencing it. The record plays linearly, but the needle can move anywhere in time it wants. All time is just a perspective from now the only time that exists. The needle represents now. No matter when we play or do anything, it is now. Just like the record, past, present, and future all exist in this now moment. From a higher perspective, past, present, and future all exist now. This brings us to parallel time. Parallel time shows it from a higher perspective since all time exists in the fourth dimension and consciousness, which is fifth dimensional, experiences 3D reality and time. So let's look at it from a single lifetime perspective. There is a you in the past, you in the present, and you in the future. Generally, we see the past actions leading to the present and the actions taken in the present leading to the future. Using an example of school and graduating, you would study in high school to get grades to go to college and eventually graduate. What if you can access your 5D consciousness in the future that you already graduated and download information from it and apply that to the past you? When you access your 5D dimensional self, you can do that since time exists now in the higher dimensions. That you that graduated exists now, just as the last track of the record exists simultaneously as the first. The now in the past, present, and future is the same moment, the moment you are experiencing now. So gaining a higher perspective allows you to transmit information through time. We do it on a level already. We call it intuition or a gut feeling or when something tells you something. That voice is you in a parallel timeline communicating with your past self, attempting to upgrade your current timeline. This is how I've accessed information that is in the future in what I call conscious time travel. The value in this is to learn from mistakes that you haven't made yet in your current timeline or to get information that you haven't learned yet. This is how I've changed my timeline to an alternate reality. This reality is parallel to my past one and my consciousness is now playing this reality versus my old one. I've connected to my future self which allows me to change the past and create a new present which in turn creates a new future. You are witnessing someone who has done this and is demonstrating it publicly and I am nobody special. It is part of what we can do as multidimensional beings. While I still do experience time linearly in the lower dimensions, I have access to information from the higher ones and use that as guidance. Information from the future is sent back to help us not repeat the same mistakes or play the same loops in our lifetimes. When we take action on this information, those actions create different outcomes and change our realities. We can do this on an individual scale as I'm demonstrating and as a collective scale, which is what I'm here to assist with. To show humanity it is multidimensional and can choose a different reality than the one that exists now, one that is more in alignment with who you are and doesn't lead to self-destruction. Also, information can flow into the past and change that timeline as well, so work done here can heal the past. As infinite multidimensional beings, we are far greater than what we've been told and our reality is more fluid than we've been taught. Our 5D consciousness is infinite and we are just learning what we are capable of. We've only been told about our lower selves to keep us stuck in the loop and keep us unconsciously creating, unconnected to our higher selves. Information can be shared between parallel lives and affect each timeline, even in the past. I experienced information from past timelines and have come to this one to continue work that has been done in the past with information from the future. The future timeline that I'm connected to is in the year 3004. Information on what humanity can correct is being shared to me to affect this timeline. I'm holding the space and showing that we can change the future. 
While the past seems concrete, if it all exists now, then it too can change. Could proof of this be the Mandela effects that many of us recall? Could those memories be us remembering a parallel timeline that has changed? I'm helping create a Mandela effect for the future, and my mission is to share this information boldly with humanity and show that there is room on the new timeline to accelerate the conscious evolution of humanity. We seem to not have time to wait. It's time to awaken to our true potential. Thank you.